Hey guys, King of Charmaz here. Today I'll be your judge, your jury, and your analyst. And today I bring to you my top three teams with Mag Cargo for the Love Cup. You know, snail sounds re well, it doesn't actually sound good. It's really interesting because my friend brought me this conversation yesterday. He was like, oh, Have you ever had snail? And I'm like, No. And he's like, It's actually pretty good. Me personally, I probably would never eat it just because, you know, you. You know, when the when it rains and you see these things just like going across the floor and you like and you see them like you hella try to avoid stepping on them because you don't want to kill them for one. And this is me whenever it rains. I like look at the floor and I'm like, is there a snail? Okay, dodge, dodge, bob and weave. You know what I mean? Foot like a butterfly, sting like a bee, like my freaking poster over there, Muhammad Ali. Oh, I can rhyme. But also here's the time for me to give you your mental health tip for the day. So mental health tip for the day, since we are talking about Mad Cargo and it is a fire type, I don't live in an extreme heat place anymore, like Arizona. I was stationed in Arizona. I also deployed Afghanistan, and it is freaking hot down there, man. I also went to basic military training in the Air Force when it was August. One of the worst ideas of my entire life. It was so freaking hot. Every time we would march, I'd be like, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying. It was that bad. Anyways, the reason why I'm talking about this is because high heat can actually affect your mental health because what happens when it's hot? You're dehydrated and it leads to exhaustion. Guess what dehydration does to you? It gives you the same symptoms as depression, etc. Which is another reason why you should drink water. Water is very important to stay hydrated and making sure you are happy and you are healthy and you make sure you ward off those depressive symptoms because it really be that bad though. So high heat can, act, can affect your mental health and it can give you depressive and it can... It's hard on you because, you know, especially if you're taking like psychiatric medicines, they actually, it actually makes you like a higher risk on other things. So for a good example is like lithium, a drug that's used to treat bipolar disorder. If you, it increases your risk of dehydration. So you're on lithium and then it's hella hot outside. Now you're dehydrated. So guess what? It's really bad. So make sure y'all drink water, make sure y'all stay cool. And even though, and I'm only saying this because you know, Mad Cargo is a fire type, but yes, high heat can affect your mental health and then make sure you stay hydrated, make sure you are staying cool so that you, in fact, do not, while you're walking outside, pass out and start to hallucinate or something like that, because that can happen. Anyways, these are my top three teams for the Love Cup using Mad Cargo. Let's get started. All right, so the first team we have Mad Cargo in the lead, Electrode and Metacham, XL. So that's an XL. And you're gonna have Mad Cargo and Electrode. Electrode will be your safe switch. Electrode Hyper Beam is still pretty freaking good. So while Fire Type, you know, because Aloma Mola and all the Fire Types out there, you're probably gonna see Aloma Mola. So we have Electrode to take it out along with Metacham. If they send in Metacham into your Electrode, Hyper Beam Electrode slaps. It hits really hard and does a ton of damage. So in practice, Hyper Beam Electrode is still a boss. And along with that, this is also to catch, for example, Metacham is a great save switch because, I mean, you could save switch and a Metacham, but Metacham is great because it, it has power. Power Punch and Psychic is a great combination. Metacham is super OP. It was OP in freaking Love Cup from last season and still to this day. You save switch into Electrode and if you can't, hopefully you can try and win switch. Or for example, if you send in Electrode and they send in Mad Cargo, to counter then you can or whatever they switch into metacham can hopefully have a positive match of it and possibly even farm it down for example they send scrafty into your electrode for you to take it out or better yet you hyper beam it somehow come back with switch win switch and metacham and mag cargo can close out the match a lot of coverage a lot of ball you're not going to have a lot of things well you can have consistent damage but a lot of things aren't going to have a lot of a high grade of safety or consistency for bulk the only combination it's really going to have is for example if you have like aloma mola and lickitung together you're going to have a rating for bulk so not a lot of pokemon here have a ton of bulk as you see here your biggest weaknesses are in fact metacham and mag cargo despite this fact you have a hella low threat score bro as you see there a 544 you lose the lead, you say switch an electrode, or you play out the mirror. For example, if you get Mad Cargo on Mad Cargo action, it's probably best to try to see if you can win the matchup. 
because you're both going to rock slide each other to death. What you're going to do in this scenario is you're going to try to get those extra incinerates through in the mirror match so that you can rock slide your opponent or rock, rock tomb your opponent to, to oblivion. So just putting that out there. Try to get those extra incinerates. And of course, because of that attack debuff, you have to be a little spicy and a little careful when you're trying to throw your freaking rock tombs. But Rock Tomb can also set up a lot of plays for you because of the fact that it does do that debuff. So you, it's really good. You say switch Electro, try to Hyper Beam, win back switch, realign, hopefully Metachamp and Mad Cargo can close out. As you see, Solana really saw a combination in practice. This team did really well for me. If they throw Metachamp into you, you have two choices. One, you can throw your Metachamp into them and then try to play out the match. Or you can send an Electrode and try to Hyper Beam. It's really up to you. So I've done either one. Either one works. It really just depends how it plays out. But make sure you know what you're doing and make sure you practice. But yes, this team is pretty solid and it, it did really well for me in practice. So hopefully you enjoy this. Some You can also replace Metacham with like a Charmer or a Razor Leafer. It's really up to you how you want to align it. If you really want your patches to go by really fast. All right, next up, we got the fish, Alo Mamola. The only reason I know that is because I've literally win the mirror. I'm like, Alo Mamola, Alo Mamola. I'm, it's like a tongue twister, I swear. You know what I mean? The freaking pink heart fish that you would never expect. And you're just like, what the heck, man? Isn't Alo Mamola is from Gen 3, right? Because I remember heart scales and it's just like one of the most like obscure mods that you wouldn't even think about. So... Aloma Mola, that, and we have the Turtle Wave, the Kamehameha. I'm talking about Dragon Ball Super. For those of you that have watched anime for a very long time, that Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, you know what I mean? This is what we got. Aloma Mola lead, Lickitung with Hyper Beam. All right, so hear me out. Hashtag get beamed. There is a reason. So I've looked it up and I've like practiced with it. And you know what? Power whipping a freaking fish just isn't worth it. There's a lot of things you could do with Lickitung with Hyper Beam. If it hits, if it hits, you do big damage, super big damage. Except when you got locked in Mark Cover and you're like, oh, okay, what do I do? But then usually Hyper Beam can, it, usually you'll have chip on my cargo already from the scenarios I've seen. And you, I've literally double Hyper Beam things to death. I've Hyper Beamed, I've Hyper Beamed an Amola Mola to death. I've Hyper Beamed a Metacham to death. So Lickitung with Hyper Beam, is gonna be like i'm telling you it's like a sleeper like i'm not like not just because i love get, like hashtag get beat, but like it really is a sleeper so we got this one we got mad cargo in the back as you see grade wise great across the board amazing coverage bulk remember what i told you alola mola you put lola mola and lick tongue together lick tongue xl so lick tongue is xl so look at tongue xl and then you get this combination of death so as you see very solid against the overall meta Fighters kind of give you a little bit of a hard time. Yes, you're double weak to fighters in the back, but remember what I mentioned where you can kind of solar, like, hyper beam? If you can hyper beam a Metacham or Scrafty, you do big, big, big damage, for example. Okay, so if we look at Metacham, look at Metacham versus Scrafty, here's what happens. And you are able to, let's assume we're in the zeros. We're in the zeros. And you have, like, a little bit of energy, give or take, so... Or you have, or like, no, you have shields. So let's assume you have like two shields. Two shields. And you fire. Hyper Beam does 82 damage. So if you look over here, you can eat the pup if you want to. But like, as you see here, if you can get the Hyper Beam through, you can win. So yes, you'll be down shields, but you know it's what it is. So hyper beam can ko metacham xl i've done it through shield and it's absolutely freaking hilarious when it happens and i'm like this can be a secret weapon but yeah scrafty is a little more on the rough end because you're not super effective against it so you're probably gonna have to be a little more you're gonna have to be fancy because as you see your scrafty has a pretty legit matchup against you so unless you have energy lead where if we start off in the zeros and you have like 50 let's say 50 energy give or take so you do that. As you see, you can go straight body slams. Straight body slams can win the matchup. But you can't go hyper beam. That's the only con when it comes to Scrafty. If you can hit it, let's say you have a, this is how much a hyper beam. Let's assume that you like farm something down, you have a hundred energy. It's still bot it's it's still like see you're like you could double hyper beam this thing to death. Hyper beam does 75 damage. So if you have a little bit of chip on Scrafty, 
you can KO a Scrafty. So this is what I mean. Hyper Beam, man. Hyper Beam freaking... Because Power Up, your only real targets are going to be Slowbro and Aloma Mola. Where you can body slam anyways. But Hyper Beam through shields does big damage. So this is why I'm promoting the Super Heavy Eater Light. No bias at all. And this team actually has a pretty dang low threat score. The thing about Aloma Mola is Aloma Mola is there to take out the opposing mag cargos as well as fire types. Your biggest cons are going to be fighters of course as you see here despite that fact this team has a really solid threat score of 536 so you lose the lead with aloma mola you say switch into like a tongue hopefully you could hyper beam create us create a switch our wind switch and then you can align with mag cargo and aloma mola and they can close out the match for you all right and last but not least we got the bro so we got the bro we got the go and we have the tough <laughs> ah, that's funny so we got slow bro mag cargo you're gonna use water pulse though the water pulse obviously to ko like okay oh mag cargo i don't know like there's no real reason for you to have ice beam there's like no there's like no targets for ice beam so my head is kind of scratching my head you can use i would say you oh uh, well actually there's an argument for ice beam because it requires less energy than psychic so there is you can so something fancy you can do and i try this out a little bit is you could have water pulse and ice beam you can use ice beam to bait shields but it's a very ballsy move so that's something you could try i mean the psychic debuff even if they block it psychic debuff is good but like i mentioned ice beam is there ice beam also gives you that like oko potential against shadow vile plume but most of the time if your confusion can't ko it anyways or if you're at that point that thing's gonna shred you to death for yeah it's just gonna shred you this is a very rpse team if you lose the lead this is going to use mag cargo as a safe switch here's the example you lose the lead, you throw in Mag Cargo, they're probably going to throw their fighter into you. Depending on which fighter throws it, you throw in Wigglytuff. And hopefully Wigglytuff and Slowbro with shields can close out the match. What you can do, and because Mag Cargo is so powerful, well, Rock Tomb's powerful, you can use Rock Tomb to lower the attack of your opponent so that you can, or even better, if you could overheat through shields and win back switch, that's really good. Just keep in mind, with over, like, that, with the minus two, it could be dangerous. So, this is very dependent on how the match goes and how you realign uh, it's a tap tap but essentially it is a tap tap team when you have wiggly tough a lot of coverage not a lot of bulk or safety this team does rely on either you how how you play out the switch with mad cargo or you just flat out win out matches the reason why slow bro is so powerful is because it does beat alo momola and it does cover mad cargo as you see here this team this team also you cover medicham which is mad cargo weakness and you also have wiggly like as you see here, it Slowbro is very useful. Very useful. So, really good, really big damage. The only weakness you have is literally Slowbro, <laughs> which is freaking hilarious. Who's gonna use an XL Slowpoke in this league? I do not know, but you know what? As you see here, you do. it's a pretty solid team. A little high on the threat score side, but you know what? Like I mentioned, it's an RPS team. It's an RPS team. So depending on how you play out the switch or using Mag Cargo as a safe switch, it's really up to you. Or you flat out just win the lead and then you just literally like burn down, charm down whatever is in front of you. So I use this team. This team was actually a lot. This team, as much as I hate charm because I despise charm to death, this team like, you know, like double charm was like so prevalent in the last year's Love Cup that this time around, I'm just like, whatever. So if I'm trying to run through my sets, you're probably going to see me run this team. And that's GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, Mag Cargo has a lot of usage for the Love Cup. Also, for the Johto, upcoming Johto Cup. So, it's very interesting. And you're probably going to see a lot of them out there. Because, you know, content creators are going to try to make freaking teams out there. And hopefully, I can highlight a good team with it. Or a good run with it. So, yeah. I mean, Mag Cargo is pretty underrated. It's a freaking fire snail. Serious. It's a fire snail. But you know what I mean? Mag Cargo was actually in my team. When I bought Silver back in the day... Silver was actually, like, I actually got a Slugma. I forgot that one Fire Cave. And then after that, I evolved into Mad Cargo. And Mad Cargo has been a part of my team. So that's how I, that's my connection with Mad Cargo. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully give you an idea. Mad Cargo is very powerful. However, things like Fighters and Aloma Mola can give you a hard time. However, Mad Cargo does really well against other Fire types. And Rock Tomb's buff made it really, really strong. So there's a lot of ways you can kind of play around with it. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor. You see these two little Charmanders here next to this new laptop that tells you my new streaming laptop pretty soon because I'm like setting everything up, but I'm hella busy. So like I haven't had a lot of time. There's a sub button down there. All I want, do me a huge favor, please click or uh, put your mouse over it and then it will pop a sub tab and you can easily subscribe there. Liking, subscribing is totally free and super helps out the channel and I really do appreciate it. I really appreciate my current subscribers. Good luck on your Go Bally and I will see you guys on the next video.